This is Shelling Cans 101 with ALAF Squadron Commander Roy Greenwood. Okay, we're going to take our can and lay it on a nice, flat, clean surface. We're going to hold it with one hand, take the exacto with your other, and we're going to go to about an eighth of an inch from the bottom of the can, and we're going to poke it through. There you go, let's poke through. And we're going to now slowly rotate the can and start to cut along this edge very carefully here. The object is to only puncture the can and not your fingers, especially not your thumb. Your thumb is in the line of fire here, and you will get cut a few times uh, eventually doing this process. So we're going to continue to cut, and we're going to keep rotating until the two edges uh, will meet, and we will have the bottom of the can off. There you go. The bottom of the can is off. And we have a nice, clean, undented can. You don't want to crush the can while you're doing this. There you can see. Okay, we'll set that aside. And now we're going to cut along this seam right here. This is the seam of the can. Every can has one. We're going to cut from bottom to top. Nice straight line here, which is critical in cutting these cans. There you can see. Okay, now we're going to go across the top. Same thing. Uh, we don't want to cut too shallow, lose some can surface. But we need a nice straight line here. And there you go. Now the top is off. Okay, so we've got our can shell, but uh, as you can see, the can isn't ready to work with yet. We have this edge, and we need to cut that off. So we're going to cut about an eighth of an inch off the bottom. Nice straight line is very critical here because when we're working with these things, when you have to extend the surface, um, you're going to need nice straight edges. Okay, that one's off. Okay, now you can see the nice straight edge there, ready to work with. Rotate it around. Okay, jagged edge eighth of an inch again and we'll start cutting this one off and as you can see we're getting nice straight lines here which are very critical to you know creating panels doing a lot of the things we do here at the aluminum air force and the can will now lay flat we can now work with it trace our templates onto it we're good to go okay we'll take that one set it aside nice can ready to work with and practice makes perfect so let's do it again Okay, exacto blade, eighth of an inch from the end, poke it through, start rotating. You'll notice here that I will start to pick up speed. I've shelled literally thousands of cans in my time, and but I still make a mistake. Uh, many, many times I've managed to poke my thumb and get the same hole twice. Not a fun ordeal, but here you can see we've shelled the bottom. Okay, the bottom is off. Okay, we'll set that aside. We don't need that. Okay, nice, clean, undented can, ready to go. Back to the seam, cut across. Bottom to top, nice straight line. There you go. Okay, now the top part of the can, don't cut too shallow. We'll lose can surface that we need. Nice straight line, so we have uh, good edges to work with. There you go. Now the bottom edge, eighth of an inch, we're going to cut that off. Nice straight line. It's critical to have the straight lines to be able to create can panels or trace our templates. Eighth of an inch now off the top. And here we go, we've got it cut off. And now we'll set aside these can scraps. We don't need those, obviously. And now we'll clear our surface. We'll press it down, and as you can see, we have a nice can. We can flatten it, we can lay it down. A number of things that we can do here, we'll get to those in later tutorials. But uh, as you can see, we're ready to go.